Ron? Ron Button. Ron Button. Oh, I've been at this since about 1985. Oh, just a beginner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been building kites for roughly 20 years. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. At least ten different styles of kites that I've made to make. Maybe more than that, but at least that. <laughs> this one took me about two and a half months to build oh, wow. completely. Yeah. I have another one that's only two colors. Same number of kites, and it took me a month and a half to do it. This is a train. Anytime you hook two or more kites, one behind the other on the same line, it becomes a train. Yeah, that's, that's the okay. line goes through a little piece of vinyl tubing. That's, vinyl tubing has been cut about, about that thick and then twisted into a figure eight. Spars go through that, and the line goes through it. I don't know. I have I have well over 500 kites. I've got many different kinds. Most of them I've made myself. So, what material do you use for the? Uh... That's three quarter ounce ripstop nylon, and we refer to it as spinnaker nylon because that's what they make spinnaker sails for sailboats out of. Oh, really? Yeah, this is the lightest material that. Uh, Sailmakers use. They use it only for the spinnaker because it's so big. Yeah. It doesn't have to keep light. Of course, there was a guy I was talking to. A guy here is a sailor. He says I have got one that's spinnaker that's made out of ounce and a half. I said, okay. <laughs> so this is just a hardwood, eight-inch wood dowels. Wow. Yeah. You buy at the hardware store if you're lucky. You can find straight ones. I don't buy them there, but <laughs> and he put his train up because the wind was real light put it up. It was about four miles an hour and it went up kind of out over the ocean. All of a sudden it down and whipped across the beach, wiped out a whole bunch of kites and knocked, broke 13, cut 13 kites off the end of his train. And the wind came up just from four to 25 miles an hour in just a few seconds. He found all of his kites but one and four or five tails he never found. They're out in the dunes someplace out there. <laughs> You'd think you could go out in the dunes and find them, but you get out in the, in the dunes and all that stuff is like this over oh. your head. You can't see anything that's up above. <laughs>